Good day, folks. Yes, Jack McKeever here with your oracle reading for the Easter weekend. Yes, I, I promised you. I'm doing her now. And it's going to be an interesting reading. Now, this is going to be a longer reading than normal, so I hope you hang in there. If you like my readings, by all means, please click the like button. Comment if you wish to comment. And subscribe. The more subscribers, the merrier. I love subscribers. But this reading is a special reading because the 19th is also the full moon. So you got the 19th, 20th, and 21st, which is going to be a very energetic weekend. So let's see what the cards have to say. All right. Your deck. I have picked the first three cards. I've also picked four other cards, two on one side, two on the other, plus their accents, okay? These are the cards to start with. Now, when we look at this, we have to start at the bottom, right? Bottom of this deck. Hold that gnome. This card says that come a place where change is there. Your creative energy cycles completed. You get all of these cycles going, and and, and often we don't we we just don't get the end of them. But this was a time where those things all came to an end, all came to fruition, and you are able now to see the future. Okay, so clarity becomes you. And now, of course, we've got nickel and knuckle, which reminds you that clarity comes with a childlike view. See, you see the overall picture, but you gotta you you've got to do, and you gotta see clearly to do. So in the now, this is a very very important card. You have to approach things, everything, with that childlike view. Because if you approach it with that childlike view, you'll see clearly, you'll have your enthusiasm, you'll have your curiosity. Everything is there, okay? That's the childlike view. Have fun. Be the child. Be that inner child within you. Very important. And what's that bring to your future? Kissed by the pixies. Oh, everybody loves this card because this means that love is in the air. Okay? Don't, don't lose it. It's a very important love feature. It's in the cards. It's there for you to accept, for you to uh, allow into your life, for you to share. Okay, love is something we share. It's not something we keep to ourselves. Okay? That becomes the future. On our right side, we have death. It's not a bad card. It means that things have come to a natural ending. Okay, very important to end cycles when they're a natural ending. If you don't, you carry on in those cycles and everything in the cards goes out to whack because you've done a wrong choice. Okay, so you've got to make sure when things come to a natural ending, it's over, it's done, complete it. Whether that's a relationship, a job, um, a future that was, that isn't, you know, whatever the case may be, natural endings are in order. So you, you get rid of them. You get rid of them so that your future is clear. Okay? It's accented by Penelope. 
Now Pen Penelope is the dream weaver. She's the dream weaver for a reason. Because in your dreams is where the fairies can get a hold of you, where your spirit guides can talk to you. They, d they talk all symbolically. You can ask a question and they will answer. But you have to be aware of your surroundings. Everything becomes a symbol and that's what you have to look for, the symbols. Okay, Those dreams can become a reality. They're there for you to accept. But if you don't accept them, they're not there anymore. That's a very, very important card to think about. On the left-hand side, of course, Mother's of God, Glorious Doom. Everything can become very, very chaotic in your world. Everything can become messed up. That's the easiest way to say it. Messed up with glorious doom. This deals more with your emotions, okay? Your self-pity, your self-destruction, your self-apathy. All of those things. Your emotions of destruction. And it's telling you that, you know what? Even though other people may have given it to you in the past, may have given you the self-destructive tendencies, they're yours now in the present and you got to deal with them. They're not valid. They're not true. You just have to sit there and say, okay, I'll accept them. But they're not me anymore. And carry forward. Because these things, can really, really mess you up quickly, okay? I'm not worthy, I've got no self-worth, I, oh, I can't do this, I have the esteem to do this. You know what, the flow is there for a reason. The flow is the universal flow. You've got the dream weaver over on the other side. This is useless, this card is a useless card because it's your destruction through your own doing. And you got to get over it. Okay? Because it's not true. And with this out of the way, your dreams can be a reality. Glorious Doom is accented by Ra. Ra is untapped energy it's it's raw energy it's beautiful energy and that weekend is going to be so full of it so overall when we look at all of these the, all of these cards you sit there and say what can be the outcome of all of these cards the outcome is simple very simple Easter weekend, full moon, raw energy, love is in the air. Your dreams are being answered. Ends of cycle are coming to conclusion naturally. That's naturally. You really don't have to do much except, to, except accept them. Your dreams can be answered. This is the weekend to bring it about. All right. That's your Easter weekend. That's the 19th, 20th, and the 21st. That's what's coming about. So, all in all, a fantastic weekend, a fantastic reading, and you get your dreams answered. What more can you ask for? What a glorious weekend. Well, folks, that's it. Enjoy. Enjoy that Easter weekend and approach it with that childlike clarity, that innocence, that beauty, that love, and share it. All right. So that's it for this reading. If you like my readings, please click the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please subscribe. Comment if you want to comment. If you want a private reading, by all means, email me. 
comment that you want one, give me your email address, we'll arrange it, we'll get her done. Everything is beautiful. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for this, uh, going through this long video with me. I appreciate it. Love you all. Have a good weekend.